Hello folks, Fat Guy Flies RC here. How y'all doing today? Today I'm taking up the, whoa, the Dynam Falk Wolf 190. Having a problem with the gear not being perfectly straight. I had to redo it and redo it and redo it. So landing and takeoff might be a little squirrely. <laughs> But that'll just match everything else. So, you know what? Let's get turned around here. Now let's, let's make our approach or our takeoff. Okay, maybe turn around this way. Kind of got a wind today, so. Got to really be on this rudder because my wheels are a little wonky. But I want to get further down here and uh, we'll take off from down here all right all right there we go now try not to blind y'all that sun is brutal right now and i gotta take off into the wind so that means i'm well you know what it's out of the southwest so I can face more that way and not so much into the sun, more at an angle there. Take off in that direction. So, all right, that'll give me the best chance for a good, a good landing or a good takeoff. good looking plane I'm running a 2600 2600 4s HRB I want to say it has a 60 discharge 60 C discharge I could probably get some more speed and performance out of her with a different prop, but I'll be honest, these uh, Dynam props are pretty decent quality as far as my experience with them. I, I'm running a Lemon RX Stability Plus receiver in her. So, just so you're aware. Bring her by dirty. Time remaining three minutes. Slow and dirty. Slow and dirty, man. Had to repair the rudder on her. Uh, it had typical dynam uh, hinges. The foam had finally give out, dried out and gave out. All right, great landing, great landing. Now if I can just keep her Come on, come on, bad boy. If I can just keep her from... That wind is really wanting to turn her around there. Gear up. Thing about dining planes, and I've said this many times before, if you can get them put together good and get them balanced good, they can be some of the best flying, most reliable planes you got. But <laughs> it's getting them to that point. Not to say all dynams are bad, um, but for me, they've just been a mixed bag. It's been like 50-50. 
sometimes you won't have any issues with them putting them together they go together great and fly great this one here is an example of that this one went together like an e-flight plane seriously it did it went together so easy and uh it's a great flying plane so i you know 100 percent on this plane but and the uh hawk wolf uh or the uh The other one, BF-109, same thing. Went together great, had absolutely no problems with it. And uh, went together like a, like I say, like an E-flight plane. But the ME-26, uh, that ME-262, absolute jet, absolute nightmare. Nightmare to put together. There you go, you gotta stay on that rudder. Gear up. Um, and unlike a lot of E flight planes that will run on uh, 3 or 4S, this one will barely get off the ground. I mean, I tried to fly it on a 3S, I mistakenly put in a, 30 a 3300 Down. and uh, thinking it was a 3300 4S and. <laughs> It was a 3300 3S. I got her two feet off the ground and she just couldn't, and just I had to call it quits. Had landed because it just would not fly. This is actually a surprisingly easy warbird to land, even with that great big stance there. We got, uh, uh, well, we'll try it. They're very light, so. I'm not going to. Five, four, three, two, and I. One. Time expired. All right. But they're, they're surprisingly efficient planes. Um, they're so light. That went. Oh, that went. <laughs> All right, well, we're 13 seconds over on a five minute timer. Motor off. Motor off. <laughs> Look at the wind. And of course, I left my checker back at the bench. Um, well, let's go see. I want to just want to prove a point that I'm running a 2600 4S because 4S is the only thing you're going to be able to run there. And I've got it pushed all the way forward. We got my CG just about perfect. Um, so let me uh, get back here underneath the, the cover here. Motor's off, okay. And um, CG marks right about there. So see, she just about bounced perfectly on that 2600. So let's let's. Uh, Take the fuel out, take the, the go go juice out, and let's see what kind of what we got left. See where that 2600 is in there, just even with the firewall there. So, take a look and see what we had left. Like I said, I was 13 seconds over. <laughs> And I still have 64%. All right, so on a five minute timer, I was 13 seconds over. You could fly for 10 minutes and have about 10, 10%, maybe 14% left on your battery. So honestly, you don't want to do that. You want to keep get your battery coming back between, anywhere between 30 and 40% or maybe 50%. So I would set my timer for seven minutes and be done with it. All right, there you go. Now that's on a 2600. Now if you get anything bigger than that, course you can I've had up to a 4,000 in this and uh, a little heavy then but still flew okay so all right folks well, there you go don't forget to like and subscribe god bless y'all